I knew, I knew. I was sitting there like, how can I get this down to the floor of the house? I'm not the guy who gets high rated. I don't really like this guy. Yeah, she gave boys in the hood for the house. I was like, yeah, but it's going to be like a good year before I give a movie. I know. I don't even know who our first one's going to be. I'm going to lose for that. Honestly, poetic you know? justice was real close. Poetic justice was close. That one was close. Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Del. And this is the Black Catch Up, where we're catching up on iconic black movies we missed out on in our more conservative religious childhood. <laughs> such a broad range yeah. that like you easily see why she wasn't a Yes. Uh, going off of that, I think everyone's acting was pretty good, mm-hmm. but Holly Berry's was like top notch. Yeah. And I think what helped was that she had so many complicated emotions she had to portray. Mm-hmm. So a specific scene that I liked was when Holly Berry is talking to um, Hank, the prison guard. Yep. Um, it was, I think it was one of the times he like took her home or something mm-hmm. like that. And they're like getting drunk and just like that entire scene yeah. was so yeah. well acted because she's like yep. kind of like between she's drunk and she's like laughing and crying and like yeah. happy and it's like you can tell like because she's had so much happen like her son died, yep. her husband was, was executed, executed yeah. and she's like, like her home was about to yeah, be she's about foreclosed, to be foreclosed like, on, she's about to lose her home and there's this guy and she had no car so she had yeah, to like, get a ride yeah. home like so much shit was happening to her. And yeah. she was just like having this kind of like fun breakdown. It's yeah. not fun. It wasn't fun for her. It was fun to watch because it was yeah. so well acted. Yeah. But it was really good. No, I, I have the same scene written down in my notebook. I called it the make me feel something scene. Yeah. Because I like to me that was kind of the climax of the movie. Like yeah. That scene where she's just like, okay, like I this is rock bottom. I have nothing to lose. Yeah. Like just give me anything. You yeah. know, like give me something. And he was like kind of in a similar position. I think. Yeah. You know. That's where their relationship kind of made sense. Because yeah. it was like they're both kind of lost at yep, this point. Yep, yep. So that was good. And um, so yeah, I guess the kind of next point, bouncing off everyone being a, a good actor, I had yeah. the guy Hank down. Um, specifically, just how they wrote the character, I guess. Yeah. Like, he was very heartless throughout the movie, you know, except for um, Leticia Halle Berry's character. Yeah. And I thought he just played that very well. You know, like, even the scene we were just talking about, like, for most of the scene, he was kind of just stiff, and it took, like, a very long time for him to kind of give in, I guess. Yes. And, um, also, um, I want to point out the last thing he said to his son, 
was pretty much the same as the last thing he said to his father. Ooh. And they were both like very just heartless statements. Like yeah. his son asked him, uh, what did she say? Did you ever love me or did yeah. you ever like me? And he's like, I never liked you. And bam, you know? Yeah. And then when he leaves his father in the uh, nursing home, he said, he says, uh, he says something like I've always hated you or something like yeah. that. So it just so shows that kind of like heartless tone where yeah. this, this is the last thing he's saying to these people. And again, you see it in the movie, like after the execution, when he like beats up his son for like getting Throwing sick during the whole thing. And then later in the movie, he sees the picture in Halle Berry's bathroom and, and he throws gets up sick. and gets sick. So I just thought there were a lot. There was a lot of that in the movie, like a lot of just Parallels. scenes that kind of came up later. So yeah, um, yeah that, that was kind of my second thing. I guess. Uh, one of the things that I liked was uh, when Heath Ledger's character kills himself because he's Hank's son. I just that scene took us both by surprise because yeah, he had like yeah. the gun and he was like waving it around at his dad because yeah. it was after the execution and his dad was like, "Get out of my house, you're a pansy." Yeah. So he like is like, "Get off of me, you crazy old man!" And like points a gun at him and he ends up killing himself. But mm. it was I just like the way he did it yeah. because most of the time when you think, "Oh, someone with a gun kills himself," you're like in the head. But he like specifically like yeah, shoots himself yeah, in the heart, yeah. and I think that really goes with his character because he was kind of a softy. Yeah, he was, he was like yeah. ma- way more delicate than his dad let him be mm-hmm. and his granddad and he just was such a bleeding heart and he and it was him with the prostitute was being a double check. Oh it really? Was, it was oh. the question was being, and he like apparently asked the prostitute out and she was like go away. Oh. I'm a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But um, yeah. yeah just he was a softy so I think it was very telling and like yeah. waiting for him yeah. to shoot himself in the heart. Yeah. And um, I actually had that same scene listed down just because the uh, the cinematography in that scene. There was that scene right before he kills himself. Mm-hmm. He's sitting, he's standing like next to the couch. Like, of course, he's like waving the gun around. He's chasing his yeah. father downstairs. The whole scene is tense. And there's this one shot where it's him very off center. Like, he's pretty much on the edge of the screen. Yeah. But in that like two thirds focal point is the couch. Yeah. Like the leather couch. And so I was watching it. I was like, that's odd that they chose that shot, but, like, that's a nice leather couch, I guess. <laughs> and then, it, like, right after proceeds to that scene of, did you ever love me? And he's like, I never liked you or I never loved you. And then he shoots himself. And then a few scenes later, you see him cleaning up the blood on the couch, on that same couch. So I thought the cinematography was very good yeah. in this movie. Um, there were just a lot of, like, themes throughout. Like, you even mentioned it. Like, there were, like, three scenes of him cleaning up blood. Yeah. Like pretty much for every for every death that happened, he was cleaning up blood almost, you know? Yeah. So um I had that listed down. Then I had um there were a lot of like I think door closing scenes that just added to the tension of the whole movie. Like um in the in the beginning when they were visiting the P. Diddy in prison, yes. there was just a long shot yeah, of that, that table door, and like, the cigarette kinda table. keeps kept going and then the, you just hear the door shut. Um, the other, the other theme I noticed throughout was the smoking theme. Yes. Um, it was very much used to show, like, these characters being stressed out and things like that. And so you had things like, um, there was one cool scene in the beginning where they were showing the parallel between Halle Berry and P. Diddy. And yeah. they, like, Halle, I think Halle Berry lights her cigarette and then, um, at the same time, like, P. Diddy's getting his lit and then he's smoking. Um, yeah. I also... That whole scene in the beginning, up until his execution, was really well done. Yeah. No, it was very, was very well done. Very well done. But um, I also believe Halle Berry stopped smoking by the end of the movie, or at least it wasn't as, I didn't notice it. Yeah, I didn't see her smoking that much. Like, it, pretty much after our, like, climax scene we just talked about, I, I don't think she was Thank smoking you. that much, you know? So, um, I just thought that was just, it was just very good how they kind of kept those themes throughout. Yeah. Um. I did like the tension in the scene between, um, Halle Berry and Hank's dad. Mm, that whole yeah. scene where she's like giving Hank, she's like coming to give Hank a present, yeah. and she's just with the dad. Both of us were like, "Someone's gonna die." Yeah, like, this yeah. This is not good. <laughs> but um, yeah, like it was just kind of like a interaction with a racist dad. I don't think the old man or the, the, old man, the grandfather realized yeah. he was being like racist. You know, like yeah. he just he was just kind of like, "Oh, like, he's a chip off the old block. Like he's into black yeah. girls too." So, um, yeah, but I just thought there was like really good tension in that scene. Too. Oh, okay. The last thing I wanted to touch on that I thought was very well done in the movie was the use of the drawings. The drawings uh, the father did, and um, then later there was a scene where the son had like had his drawing. Yes. And even in that breakdown scene, like it started off with her showing him the drawings, you know. And in the beginning, when he gives the drawings to the the, both the guards or whatever, 
he signs them. So like it's like at that point where like I know this dude has to know. Like he yeah. has like he has to recognize that signature. Yeah. And then um in the end, you know, in that final scene where they're like sitting on the porch, she Halle Berry sees the drawings and recognizes yeah. them as, you know, her husband's. Yes. And while I thought at first like that would lead her to just be like more spiteful and be like, Oh, why didn't you tell him? You know, like this is the man that killed my husband kind of thing. Yeah. I think it actually had the opposite effect. And she was more like, oh, if my husband cared about these two enough to draw them these pictures, you know, they must be, like, special. They must not be as yeah. bad as they seem or something along those lines, you know. Um, and then I also think P. Diddy had a really good quote in the beginning. Um, I don't know a word for word, but he said something along the lines of, like, it takes a human to capture another human. Oh, yeah. And I, I thought that was that. just, like, a really that good line. Good. You know, so I just thought that, yeah, I just thought that was really good. I don't feel like the drawings kind of, like, showed potential mm-hmm. in, like, lives being cut short. Mm-hmm. Because the son could also draw really well, too. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, yeah. you, who knows where they could have gone. Because they were both, like, exactly. described as amateurs, but then the life of Yeah, and it also does something to show that kind of humanity. Yeah. You know, like, especially when a lot of times, like, in, like, real prisons and, like, you know, prison situations, like, the prisoners are generally dehumanized. Yeah. And so him doing those drawings and... You know, saying again, it takes a human to capture another human. It's just like very power. I thought it was just very powerful. Um, but yeah, I think those are all the the positives. All I have positive. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. Negative. Negative. Problematic moments. Um, yes. You want to start on this one? Um, I only have the one besides racism mm-hmm. was the treatment of the obese son. Mm. Like that, just like I. It's weird because it wasn't a thing where. Like in sitcoms where they're like just joking about someone's weight, like no yeah. one will ever love yeah. you. It was kind of a thing where I don't know how to describe it, where she was just like trying to save him almost because mm-hmm. she was like, "You see how bitch he is? I don't want him to yeah. like die or whatever." Yeah. But it was like child abuse. Yeah. But it was also her character and like a lot. It was very layered, so it was like problematic, but it was layers to, yeah. to like yeah. make it not as. I yeah, guess, I guess it was one of those things where you almost, like, see why it was happening. Yeah. Like, it was it was pretty clear that throughout the movie she wasn't really stable. Yeah. You know, and so her, like, having these outbursts where she's, like, berating her son, beating him up, like, making him step on a scale. Yeah. I thought that was, like, probably the craziest part. I was part. like, whoa! <laughs> and, like, on, like, the fact that he had that scale in his room, like, makes you know, like, hey, this, this is a thing. Before. Like, his like, mom is weighing thing. him often, you Especially know? because she was, like, um... What did I tell you about that candy? So you can see, like, just mm-hmm. the pattern of that. It was like, that's a conversation they definitely had yep, multiple yep. times. Like, yep. even this week. Like, yeah, like, she knew to recognize chocolate on his lips. Like, yep. I don't think my parents have ever, like, noticed chocolate on my lips. <laughs> you know, so. No. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I also kind of had the generational. Ra- I had racism down, but I liked. Not like, like is a strong word. I thought it was just <laughs> well done in how they like showed the different generations of racism, especially in that beginning scene with um the two uh the two little black kids outside. Yeah. Because um I think it says a lot about like how a lot of just racism is perpetuated through the family. You had like in the, that beginning scene, you had the grandfather like really complaining about these black kids in his yard, yeah. and I think at first the dad uh, Hank wasn't really yeah. that bothered. You know, but I think just kind of listening to his father keep complaining prompted him to take his gun and go outside, yeah. you know? And then from that point, you know, you have the son defending these kids, you know? Yeah. But the dad still has a gun, so there's not really yeah. anything he can do about it. You know, so I just thought, like, it was, it was little scenes like that where you see kind of, like, they're all kind of racist, but just yeah. in, like, different ways and different yeah. extremities. So I thought it was, like, almost well-done racism on, on screen, okay. <laughs> you know? But, um... Besides that, um, the yeah. other thing I noted that, again, I thought was, like, kind of well done, I guess, mm-hmm. was um, they did kind of tap into a bit the, like, prison industrial complex. Like, you, do see, you do see the prisoners kind of walking around with their, like, hoes in a plantation with the, um, the slave driver or correctional officer uh, yeah. <laughs> on, his horse, <laughs> on his, like, high horse, you know, yeah. commanding them around. So I, that, that was, like, an uncomfortable scene to watch. But again, like... That was kind of right before the guy ends up quitting his job, yeah. you know? So, like, it's, I don't know. I thought it was well done in that sense. Like, it was meant to look as bad as it is, as it is yes. you know? Um, I was like, this is the last straw. Yeah, I'll like, do racism this way, but not yeah. this way. It's almost like after.
after his son killed himself, he almost like his eyes were kind of open to all the wrongs that were in his life. Yeah. You know, like he, I think, I feel like he really started to see things his son's way, yeah. and that kind of just led to the like, rest of the movie. Yeah. Um. Okay. What's um, your rating? Rating. I'm excited for this part. I'm really okay. excited. Who wants to go? You want to go first? Go first. first. No, I want to. You have to go first. 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 <laughs> 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 so. I gave this movie a three out of five. Uh, okay. I did like it, and I think a lot of it had to do with the acting of it. Yeah. But my main problem was that um, it was a well acted movie, but things kind of weren't really happening. Mm-hmm. Like the way we described it, a lot happened. Yeah. But it's almost kind of like it's happening very slowly, mm-hmm. and it's one of those things where it's like you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, so much just happened there. But it's just happening so slowly with so many pauses and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's a three out of five. But everyone was acting their butt off in every scene they were in, so that like definitely boosted it up for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're this so one. Excited. This one shocked me. Okay. I gave it a five. <gasps> this, this, this is one, our first five. This one got the <laughs> five for me. Five. And, like, the beginning, I just, like, absolutely love the beginning. Oh, know? I did like the beginning. Like, again, the acting was amazing. I thought, I, again, I was, I've been ranting about the cinematography this whole time. <laughs> like, I love that. And I guess one thing I've kind of been into recently is, like, nonverbal communication and Ooh. nonverbal things. And there was just a lot of that, you know? And so it was kind of one of those movies where was not much was really happening. Yeah. But, like, there were a lot of little things that kind of just happened yeah. that you kind of noticed later. And I just really Ooh. loved it. I think that just really kept me, like, engaged. Um, I did, um, I did think it kind of slowed down towards the end a Yeah, bit. I think that might have been and more And got a little slow and, like, very just kind of romancy, and I wasn't really, like, that almost bumped it down to a four and a half for me, but what, um, what, the reason I gave it a five was because, one, I was like, okay, no movie's gonna be perfect. No. You know, so, like, if I'm gonna be giving out this five, like, it won't be a perfect movie, and I really want to watch it. Like, yeah. I actually really like I actually, I don't know why I said it like that. I kind of want to watch it again. Yeah, too. like, I just, just because, like, it was just... Yeah, oh. after talking and after, like, going back and looking at the mm-hmm. Wikipedia, I kind of want to see all the stuff that I missed. Because yeah. I know there's so much that I missed because it's a lot of non-verbal communication. Yeah, but I, I yeah, I just, I just thought the rewatch value alone, like, kind of gave it that extra boost where I'm like, you know what, like, in terms of, like, movies I like, I feel, I feel like one of the criteria has to be, would you see it again? Yeah. And this one, like... I'm excited to see it again. Like, Ooh. I probably, I don't watch movies twice more than that often, but this mm-hmm. might be, like, one of those movies that I watch again. Oh. So, yeah, no, it, it kind of surprised me, too. Again, like, I went, in, I went in this movie blind, you yeah. know, but... Yeah, we... I really, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I guess final question. Do you wish you saw it sooner? Do you wish I saw it sooner? I could have had my third watch, you know, like, I could have, I could have seen this movie a couple times. 